Howdy folks. So this, um, this best complete guide for final expense burial insurance, it's designed to be a information powerhouse for you to bookmark or, or put a link on your website uh, for easy reference later. And this is going to cover a whole bunch of things. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you feel like I missed anything in this guide, please reach out to me. Um, you know, drop me a message on Facebook, send me an email, a text, a call. Let me know if there's something you want me to add to this guide. I'll spend the time. I want this guide to be thorough. I want it to be comprehensive and I want it to be most importantly, I want this to be helpful to you. So this guide is for, uh, it's burial insurance for seniors. So if you have a final expense policy already uh, and you want to understand it better or you're considering adding to your insurance policy, or you have no burial insurance and you're considering getting some, or if you simply care about seniors, uh, maybe someone in your life or you're curious and you want to understand burial insurance better for their sake, um, possibly for yours if you might be a beneficiary as well, then this is going to be for you. So firstly, what are final expenses? I want to define terms just a little bit. Final expenses are going to be those uh, final expense costs after death. It's going to be things like cremation, burial, funeral expenses, travel expenses potentially for people coming to your service. A lot of people don't include that, but you can. Uh, if you want to include a financial gift, you can. Miscellaneous bills that you know aren't going to be settled. Um, bills, any bills that are going to creep up that are relevant or anything you want to tack on that's going to benefit your loved ones. That's uh, your final expenses are going to be those costs. Burial insurance is the term for the type of life insurance policy that is going to take care of those final expenses. So burial insurance is always going to be structured as a whole life insurance policy. Always. You do not want burial insurance to be structured as term ever, 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 ever. Okay, um, you're doing yourself a major disservice and your loved ones a major disservice if you get a term policy to take care of your burial insurance. So do not go to AARP and get a term. Those are terrible term policies. They renew annually. It's bad news. You know, feel free to reach out if you want information on that uh, as far as why you should avoid that. But past the age of 50, 55, in most cases, you should be getting a whole life structured burial insurance policy, the last policy you ever need, lock in the rate for the rest of your life. That's what you want burial insurance to be. Now, there's something else called pre-need um, insurance, and I want to cover that. Also known as pre-need funeral policy, pre-need uh, burial policy. Pre-need is going to be um, where you go directly to uh, the funeral home, you go directly to the business, where you will likely be cremated, buried, things like that. And you have them set you up um, with a, a program where either you pay it all in one lump sum or you pay it over months and then it takes care of it that way. Um, now that's another way to take care of it. If you do that or get life insurance, burial insurance, either way is great. You'll be squared away. You need to know something about pre -need, though. And this is something very few people know. Most of the time you get pre-need funeral policies, what they do is they give me a call. <laughs> they get a life insurance policy in your name. You pay the bill. They become the middleman and they make money off of your life insurance policy. And they don't literally call me, but they'll call someone. They'll call a life insurance provider that does burial insurance. And most of the time they'll get a policy and they'll take it out in your name. You pay the bill. They become the beneficiary. So. That's how it works most of the time. So if you want to cut out the, the middleman on that and you want that benefit to go to your loved ones, which is obviously what I recommend, then that's what you do. Now, pros and cons of burial insurance. The uh, pros are that there are a lot of pros to this kind of a policy. It's very easy to qualify for. It's the term policies that are difficult to qualify for. But burial insurance is much easier. I mean, it's designed for seniors. And a lot of seniors have health issues. It just, when we get older, that's what happens. I know I'm only 41. I'm a young guy. But, um, you know, I, I sit with clients every, well, six days a week. Um, and so I, I know the business. And I know that you know, as we get older, uh, we develop health issues. We get on prescription medicines. We get blood pressure issues, cholesterol issues, thyroid issues, diabetes, and on and on and on. Um, 
you know, and metabolism shuts down, so we gain weight, all of these things. So barrel insurance is easier to qualify for. Also, it never expires. Um, there's no medical exam in 99.9% .9 of barrel insurance. It's super easy and simple to understand. They make these policies so simple. That's intentional. It's all by design. So the way it works is with barrel insurance, you apply, you know, you get with it, you get connected with the best possible policy at the, at the lowest possible price. You apply um, and they process it and either you're approved or you decline. If you're approved, they, they mail it to you. And the way that it works is upon death, they send a lump sum to your loved ones. Very, very simple. So it's a beautiful thing. Now also another benefit of barrel insurance is that it's gonna lock in everything until death. There's no expiration, there's no change in price, there's no change in coverage. It's wonderful how they work, so it locks it in. The only exception to this that you need to understand is universal whole life which by the way, not a good barrel insurance policy. That's the exception to whole life. Now, most agents you're gonna meet with, they won't touch that anyway. They're not gonna to touch universal whole life policy. So your traditional, your standard, your normal whole life insurance policy is what's gonna be utilized to create a barrel insurance policy for you. Now, a few cons. Um, you cannot start a barrel insurance policy past the age of 85. So once you're 86, then, then that's it, you can't do it. I've had, unfortunately, I've had clients that I've had to just kind of break the bad news to them and they understand, you know, nine out of 10 times. But past the age of 85, that's it. Um, so you need to get it in place before then. And typically, not always, but typically the maximum coverage for burial insurance is gonna be $40,000. There are some exceptions to this. If you are extremely healthy, you can get larger cover policies up to millions of dollars, in fact. It just gets very expensive. Also, most policies, most providers, burial insurance, you can get an accidental rider attached to your policy, which will double the payout to your loved ones as long as death is within the accidental death category. So that's a way to get more juice in there, to beef it up, and it's a very low cost way to accomplish that. So that's a great thing to be aware of. Now, um, there's another thing that's important to be aware of with burial insurance, and that is that there are guaranteed burial insurance programs. If you have stronger health concerns, stronger health problems, then a guaranteed burial insurance program might be the best way for you to go. It's gonna be for seniors, uh, but more specifically, ages 50 to 80 uh, with stronger health problems, for example, active cancer, um, heart attacks within the last year, um, using a wheelchair, on breathing oxygen, a lot of other examples as well. So it's actually a pretty long list, but if you have these stronger health issues, then a guaranteed barrel insurance program is probably going to be your best bet. And that's an important thing for you to talk through with your agent and come up with a game plan. What we usually do is you start with the guaranteed burial insurance program if you need it. And then when you get to the point where you might qualify for something that's not guaranteed, then you can either transition out of the guaranteed into a normal program, which might get you slightly better rates um, or more coverage. or might start 100% start a little bit sooner. Um, or you can stay with the guaranteed at that time. That's typically how these things are, are handled, at least by our agency. Uh, it gives you the best possible option at all times. Uh, and all you need to know about those guaranteed programs is it still is going to be full coverage and all of that. But if death occurs within two years of starting the guaranteed barrel insurance program, uh, if death occurs within that first two years, then it's a reduced payout to your loved ones. Once you survive that first two years, then it's 100% full payout forever. Okay, so that's the only change to that guaranteed program. Now, how do you get the best price? How do seniors get the best price on their burial insurance? Well, it's one word, shop. And there are easier ways to shop now than ever. You don't have to meet with 10 or 20 agents, which is how a lot of people used to do it. Some people still do that now, and they don't know that they have better options. What you can do is you can find a rock solid agency that is independent that's key. They're not a captive agency. They're an independent agency 
there's some good independent or there's some good captive agencies out there but the independent agencies they have access to other companies captive agencies do not captive agencies it's an industry term captive means they have access to one company that's it that's it they're a captive agent exclusive working conditions within one company they only have access to those products that's it and nine out of ten times when i come across someone that's in a graded life insurance policy or a modified uh, rop whole life insurance policy which is not a good thing when it comes to whole life um, it's because they sat with a captive agent that couldn't do any better so you want to sit with a solid reputable independent agency representative and they will shop for you they'll pull a whole bunch of companies now here's the other part of it you want to make sure that you get what's called an a rating with your life insurance company so interview before you just say yeah i want this agency you know i always recommend and and i train my agents the same way if we when we get phone calls from people that are interested in working with us i say you know please Feel free to ask us as many questions as, as you like. I want you to feel comfortable. I want you to know, just like I know, that we're the best fit for you. I want you to know that we're going to take care of you and that we're going to give you the best access that you can get anywhere. Um, and you can always check out our website at www.protectwithinsurance.com and you can verify that yourself. You'll see that it's, uh, we're very well um, founded. We're a very, very solid agency. Now, um, you want to shop all these companies. The agency does that for you based on the answers you give them about health and your goals, what you kind of policy you want, what kind of coverage you want. They'll shop all of these and they should be shopping the absolute best companies for you. So let me give you an example of a list of some of these best companies. They're going to be American Amicable, Transamerica Corporation, Insurance Company, Americo, Assurity, Gerber Life, believe it or not, they have a great guaranteed program. United of Omaha, uh, also famously known as Mutual of Omaha. Royal Neighbors of America, sounds like they'd be out of the country, but it's Royal Neighbors of America, and I work with them a lot. They are a fantastic company, really, really good, spot on. Um, NASA Financial Group, formerly known as Phoenix Life Insurance. Forrester's Financial, they're really a whole bunch of companies, but these are real solid companies. Um, and just as an example of some of them that we shop, these are some of the companies that we shop when we are searching for the absolute lowest price possible. Now, in terms of what these prices might actually be, it's a huge range. <laughs> it depends upon your health. It depends upon your gender. It depends if you're a smoker, non-smoker. And of course, the big one is your age. And so depending upon if you are in your 20s or even before, there's children's whole life insurance, which is structured as a whole life policy. And that goes all the way to the age of one, actually anything over zero. So even if they're six months old, they can get it. Um, but all the way up to 85, end of 85. So the range is going to be $12, actually $6 a month was the least expensive policy I ever designed for children's whole life insurance. And it can be all the way up to $1,000 a month. And so it depends upon how much coverage and especially what your age is and all the factors I already mentioned. Now, uh, if you check out the actual blog that this is gonna accompany on our website, um, you're gonna see charts and lists of actual companies, breakdown of pricing and how these companies differ. The last thing you want to know is, uh, who are we? You know, why should you care about what we have to offer? I'm not going to spend really any time on this. I'll let the website speak for itself, check out our testimonials, see what other clients say about us. Um, but in general, I can tell you that we've been doing this a long time, that I've been doing this a long time. I stay very involved with clients and new applications so that I'm sharp and I'm able to train my agents. And I can tell you that uh, we start at a place of caring about our agents and we go from there. So it all trickles down from there. So I hope this has been helpful. And again, please let us know if you want to see more included in this comprehensive guide uh, for burial insurance. 
um, and stay safe out there. All right, take care.